Hi, I'm Tamás Szűcs, and my supervisor is Attila Krajci, and this is the short version of the effect of data filtering methods on reliability. First, we need to talk a little bit about the uh, relationship between reliability and correlation. Here you can see a high reliability data set uh, where our two variables are nearly perfectly correlated. And uh, when we introduce some noise, uh, i.e. we lower the reliability, then we can see that the correlation coefficient uh, becomes lower, it becomes attenuated. And so uh, what we can see is that the, this low reliability causes the attenuation of the correlation coefficient. And we can also see that the uh, current research practice uh, often omits the reporting of reliability metrics. And we can also see that it's a surprisingly widespread problem in cognitive psychological experimental paradigms that uh, we have a low reliability of our effects that we measure. And so this means that the interpretability of our correlational studies is, uh, is uh, quite questionable when we don't take a look at the reliability of our variables, because a a correlation that we couldn't show or a low correlation that we find can essentially mean that there really is no correlation or there really is a low correlation or it can also mean that there is a relationship between those variables but our low reliability masks this relationship and we cannot show it because the correlation coefficient becomes attenuated because of the poor reliability and so what can we do uh, is the question when our variables have poor reliability? Well, uh, previous researchers tried some data analysis and data filtering methods, but ultimately they didn't succeed in um, raising reliability. And so we also tried raising reliability. We used uh, different data filtering criteria. Um, we used the uh, uh, the criteria where we took out the trials where the participants made an error, which, which is a quite widespread uh, data filtering practice. We also uh, tried uh, filtering out the trials that were preceded by an error trial, because we supposed that uh, making an error can distract a participant, and thus the next trial can be more noisy. And we also tried filtering out the outliers. Here we used a uh, three standard deviation cutoff point. And uh, in this table here, you can see all the combinations that we used uh, made, up, made up of these, uh, these filtering criteria. And uh, what we found is that filtering had a quite an inconsistent effect on reliability and that it can even lower reliability uh, in cases and that uh, the reliability that we measure uh, depends on the metric that we use uh, to measure our effect, meaning you get different reliability results depending on whether, or whether you measure with reaction times or uh, error rates or other uh, metrics that one would use. And so our conclusion is that data filtering methods do not raise the reliability of our variables. And so we need to find uh, other ways, uh, other um, data analysis techniques that could help us raise uh, reliability. Thank you.